Hi everyone. I thought I would do a quick life and work update. It's been a while and I have some exciting news to share. Currently it's approaching mid-June and we're almost done with the school year. We have a week left. I am very excited. I'm done with all of my testing cases, like eligibility. And basically I'm just like tying loose ends, making sure I'm prepped for next year and we're like having meetings to prep for next year, basically like MTSS meetings, PBIS meetings, lots of like end of year shenanigans, um, like fun things for the kids. And there's still like a couple like finals going on for like the eighth grade students. So I'm gonna help proctor some of that stuff or like monitor kids. For me, um, as a school psychologist, I will be, you know, checking my files, looking through all my test kits, organizing things, and also doing some PD because um, I have like a lot of like webinars to watch and take notes on and I can earn um, CPD like professional development credits for that. I, I guess like not super busy but I can always find things to do. This is my second year as a school psychologist at the same school and I definitely have gotten more comfortable in my role. I still feel very new but um, there's just like a sense of like I feel like oh like I know what I'm doing. It's not as bad. I'm so glad I have the support that I do. And, um, you know, there were definitely times when I felt like, like panic and anxiety and stress because I felt like there was too much to do. But compared to like what I hear from other psychologists, school psychologists around the country, my caseload is not bad. Um, my school, like the things that happen in my school are not bad compared to the horror stories that I hear across the country. Of course, we've had some high profile cases, we've had threat assessments, like those things do happen here. You know, I work in secondary, but um, I think we have a really good admin team, counseling team, and um, it's just, it's not as bad as it could be. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm very grateful for my experience the past couple years and like, eligibility and like testing caseload wise. I see people who have like over a hundred kids to test and write reports on throughout the school year. And for me, like that sounds crazy. Like how do you get all of that done? That's like, I guess that's like 10 to 12 a month. But given that like, you're not, you're typically not busy like the first month or two of school because you know, everyone's getting in the routine of things. And like the last month or two, I guess, like you're wrapping things up. That's crazy. I, I just feel like it's not sustainable unless you love doing it and that's all you're doing. Um, so yeah, I think I had maybe 20 to 25 and it was very manageable. There were times I was stressed out, but um, nothing was like super contentious. Like everyone was able to agree on findings and we're able to support kids the best that we could and yeah I'm just like I guess I am content with how the school year went and how I feel like I performed and yeah I guess where I am with my career. That being said I don't want to get too like complacent and comfortable with where I am because it's nice in like in the context of like my life and like being a mom and having other responsibilities but in I guess in regards to my professional um, development and like skill set I would love to branch out and have new experiences because I don't want to become stagnant like I, I'm just starting my career and I want to be able to go other places be well-rounded have new experiences so I think it's good to stay for a few years and definitely like become more comfortable, become like a bigger like asset player for the school, um, make better connections, like deeper connections with um, students and staff. Oh, that's good. I just don't want to like be here for like 10, 15 years and then not have any other experiences outside of this one school, just being in middle school, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, this video is getting very long so that it's like my work update, um, personal update. I am pregnant and I'm expecting, and I did post this on TikTok, um, but I haven't posted it really anywhere on YouTube or Instagram. So, ta-da. <laughs> um, 
we are expecting in October and it'll be a whole new journey because now that I've been in the school system for more than a year, I qualify for family leave and that's going to be really nice compared to the six weeks that I had last time. So I hope you follow me on my journey as um, a soon to be mom of two and a still early career school psychologist. First trimester was pretty rough. I was uh, pretty nauseous and like exhausted, um, like all of first trimester. Like first I was going to sleep really early, but even throughout the day I was so tired. Um, and then I think because I was pregnant, my immune system was also like terrible. And so I ended up getting sick really often. And so that sucked for many reasons for me and like my family. I'm past like the halfway mark. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling huge and like heavy and um, I'm like I get out of breath so quickly already but I'm trying to like incorporate like working out more um, and it, it's definitely a different experience um, with a toddler. So that's been interesting and um, we're trying to teach him that you know he has a baby sibling coming but we are very excited and terrified at the same time let me show you my bump here it is I feel like definitely second time around like I am like growing a lot faster um but I think first trimester I was able to like hide it pretty well so people are like wow you got huge really fast not an appropriate comment but I mean I know what they mean and what they're saying but it still doesn't feel good to hear that I'm huge. Um, anyways, that is basically my update. I will be home for the summer. I'll um, be taking care of my toddler um, most of the time. And then um, maybe I'll get like one or two days um, to work on house stuff, um, nesting, like prepping the nursery for the new baby, and hopefully creating more content because I'll have some time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.